This is you. And these are world's top labs. The question which we are asking today is, how can you get into the best labs of the world in biotech? And how can you utilize these opportunities to accelerate your career in the field of life sciences? So while we are going to talk in detail about this particular topic, but let me tell you first the benefits. Amazing thing which I have seen in last several years of my career in biotech is if you worked in big labs, then it becomes very easy to go anywhere and flaunt that and get a high paying job. In fact, this is one of the biggest secret which is right here in plain sight and people are not seeing it. The problem is how to get in there. What are the opportunities? What are the strategies? And how can you combine all of that together to win the world of biotech? Let me start with the first thing. You need to know which are the top labs in biotech. Well, we've already created a list. It is on our website, biotechnica.org, in the career guide section. But let me tell you quickly, which are the top public sector labs. Of course, it will be in USA. So we have NIH USA. We have CRISPR Labs, EMBL Europe, CSIRO Australia. If you go to private uh, sector, Genentech has amazing labs. You have Amgen, Pfizer, Novartis, Roche, and startups in US, Europe and India which are working on cutting edge research. Now you also have academic labs which is Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Oxford and various other leading universities. Now that I told you the three types of lab we have public sector, academic as well as um, private sector, the question to be asked is how do you get in there? Now if this was 2020 or before the pandemic, I would have told you the usual pathway. But now that we are in 2025, we have a shortcut and that shortcut is interdisciplinary research. So if you do interdisciplinary research where you combine computers with your wet lab experience, that is one of the top most open secret to get into any of the labs which I just mentioned, in fact any lab in the world. But now we will come to the regular old style, how do you get in using your regular method of getting into a top lab. One thing is very clear, interdisciplinary research, combining computers with biology is the latest flavor. If you have it, you can do it and of course you can do it using Biotechnica's artificial intelligence machine learning, data science courses, bioinformatics course. But the usual method would be, of course, building your relevant skills. So assuming you are a bachelor's or a master's student, build on your biotechnology, molecular biology, bioinformatics, genetic engineering, specialized techniques like CRISPR, NGS, proteomics, genomics, all these techniques you should work upon and gain hands-on experience, gain um, project experience, and of course, publish papers. Of course, you should also learn some technical skills like Python, Java, MATLAB, R, data analysis, platforms for bioinformatics, AIML, NCBS, all of that you should learn and you can also always learn all of that in Biotechnica. You don't have to go anywhere. All the details are given in the description. Please check it out. Also, I have pinned the comment in the comment section. Please check that out as well. Now, coming to the soft skills, you're going to get into the best labs in the world, right? So you have to have the best soft skills. Now, what are those? Communication. If your English is not right, boss, you're not getting into these labs, okay? So communication has to be right. You need to learn teamwork. You need to learn critical thinking out of the box thinking, adaptability, all of that. And like I told you, see, these labs are like a wild card entry into any biotech company in the world at whatever salary you want. So, you know, you need to develop your soft skills. So that's very important. Now, coming to the next point, usual way, pursue higher ed education. If you are a bachelor's, pursue master's and PhD. If you're a PhD, do your PhD from a prestigious university. If not, do your postdoc from a prestigious university. That's very, very important. Publish, publish, publish. That is something you cannot ignore. If you want to get into the best of the labs, then your papers should be cited at least 100 times by others. If you have done the groundwork, so education is a groundwork, now comes the cherry on the cake and that is building on relevant experience. How do you build experience? Work on projects. Even if you are a fresher, nobody is giving you an opportunity, Biotechnica will give you an opportunity. All the project details for uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, bioinformatics, cancer biology research, molecular biology research, wet lab, dry lab, we have everything. Check the details in the description and that will help you. You have to gain the relevant industry experience internship projects, industrial projects, industrial exposure, uh, work in mid-sized startups, gain hands-on experience, and then build a strong portfolio, not just a resume, build a strong portfolio. Now, once you've done that, the next level will be networking. How do you network? attend the conferences, connect with people on LinkedIn. In fact, I have created a separate video which talks about 
the strategic networking skills which you should develop as a biologist. I have built the best thing in the world, but nobody knows what's the point. If you cannot do personal branding for yourself, if you cannot market your own self, how would you get into the top labs? Because if people don't know you are the best, how would they hire you, right? So you need to have all those skills. Join professional organizations like International Society of Computational Biology, American Chemical Society, connect with researchers and employees of those labs on LinkedIn and ResearchGate, attend conferences like BIO International, ELRIG, EMBO. In India, we have the BioAsia and Bangalore Tech Bio Summit and various other events which is happening where you can participate. Now that you've done all of that, whenever you're applying, make sure that you are tailor making your application. You know, it's like molecular docking, right? The molecule has to go and fit. Same way, your CV should fit into the job description, right? It's just like molecular docking, right? So high level, highly relevant skill set you should uh, highlight first. Internship, research experience, whatever you've done in Biotechnica, highlight that. And of course, take help of our placement team. They will guide you, help you, get you placed. So that also will uh, help you there. Design the cover letter in such a way that it addresses what they want, okay? So first think what they want. Look at the job description, think what they want, because accordingly design your cover letter. Make important things bold, underline, and make it properly formatted. Don't just send the email blindly, send it to yourself and open in mobile and check how does it look. Send it uh, and say check how does it look in a laptop so that you know if it is looking properly. And preferably create a professional uh, email ID, like don't create something like michaeljackson at gmail.com, that won't work, okay? Now, another important aspect is a recommendation letter. Now, as a fresher, you might find it difficult, but yes, Biotechnica will help you with that. We can connect you with various scientists who can give you the recommendation letter. See, recommendation letter is a letter of endorsement from a professor or industry veteran and that helps you stand out. Now leverage the fellowships and grants. That's the next step. So you, these labs have various grants. You go through their website and check what grants they have. So you have Marie Curie Actions Grant, you have Humboldt Dolt Fellowship, you have Fulbright Scholarships, you have various scholarships. In fact, we have an ebook also about scholarships. If you're following Biotechnica, you can check that out also on our website. You can download that uh, top 100 scholarships in Biotech free of cost and you can apply. When you get funded, that you can showcase that I got funding, I got scholarship from this, this, this place. Now coming to the next part, knowing when these guys are hiring, okay? So of course, if you subscribe to Biotechnica Global, or Biotechnica India, you will be informed about these vacancies because the moment it comes, you have to apply. So you have to be ready. The moment it comes, apply. And that is how you get in. But like I told you, the shortcut to get into these labs right now in 2025 is artificial intelligence, machine learning in biology, bioinformatics, skills, applying it in wet lab, all of that. So this is the shortest most method or the shortcut method to get a job into these labs. Now, coming to the last part of this video, I'm sure you're super excited to get into these labs, let me know which lab you would want to work and I can cover that in my next video. I can give you more details about that and how to get into that lab specifically, right? So let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any question or any idea or anything you would like to learn from me or our team, so feel free to post that below and I'll be sure to help you as soon as possible. And once again, I thank you for visiting Biotechnica, subscribing to Biotechnica and being a loyal subscriber for all these years. And I will see you soon as a successful researcher in this lab because I believe in you. All the best.